What's good, y'all? Welcome to the 95.7 Gems Live Lounge. And I'm sitting here with the H-Town Hottie Meg the Stallion. And we also have a few of the Gems lucky listeners in the audience who are going to ask a few questions. So we'll get back to that in just a few minutes. But first, I got to chop it up. Chop it up with Meg the Stallion. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good. It's good to have you in 205. Okay, I'm out here and I just love it already. You do? So nice. That's how we do it out here. That's how we do it out here. Now, first up, you're still in school at Texas Southern, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, how are you balancing both your exploding career and in school at the same time? It's really hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like at first, it was like pretty easy because I wasn't so put. But like ever since, you know, I'm in every city, like all the time. All the time. Yeah. Um, my one of my professors, I had her for like two classes. So she made me realize that you know just because you know I'm doing my own thing, that don't mean. That you can slack up all that work. Yeah, they don't care. Right. Like, uh, I had got two incompletes. Dang. Yeah, she really, she really messed up with me. So I was like, no, I'm going to just have to start going to school online because I can't have you messing with my kids. Right. Like, yeah, that's the best way to do it. So, yeah. So uh, it's, it's kind of difficult, but I really want my degree, so I'm still doing it. That's what's up. That's what's up. And that's definitely inspiring some of us young hustlers out here. So, <laughs> so your career is exploding right now. And you've had a chance to meet some, like, fellow artists in the game, like Drake and Solange. How was it meeting with them? Are you going to do some projects with them, tour with them? What you got going? You know, I always like to keep stuff a surprise. But, like, when I met Solange, I was like, what? Like, I was in New Orleans and I had my show. Right. And my manager's like, hey, Simone, do you want to come see you uh, perform tonight? I'm like, That's crazy. What? Solange, like, <laughs> right, and he was like, Yeah, and I was like, Oh, whatever, I'm gonna believe it when I see it. So, I'm literally in the middle of performing, I don't even know how they got my attention, but they're like, And I turn around, it's freaking Solange, and I'm like, Oh my god, like, but I'm still performing, so I'm like, Let me just calm down, yeah, freak mm -hmm. nasty, right? <laughs> uh, we had to like meet up in like this random secret bathroom in the place. And what? Two girls in there because it was so packed. Yeah. Everybody was like, yeah, let's take a pic. Da, da, da. So now I got, well, hold on, y'all. I really want to meet some lunch. So just give me a second. So um, we're in the bathroom. It's like two chicks in the restroom. And they don't know, they don't know we in there. So they walk out and they're like, Megan and Solange in the bathroom. At the same yeah, time. Solange is so nice. She's like, hi, I'm Solange. And I'm like. You do not have to introduce yourself. Like, you know you right. But she was so nice. She was so sweet. Um, same thing with Drake. He was super sweet. You know, you, you think he going to be like one way. But he really actually, he real cool. He real chill too. That's what's up. Yeah. You got to get on that air Drake. <laughs> Uh, you took me a minute to process what you was talking about. I was like, Air Drake, all oh, his plane, yeah. his plane, his new plane that he has. You got to get on that. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so, any collabs that y'all are working on, or any music tours? It's a surprise. I am going on tour, but I don't want to say who it is. Okay. It's it's a big it's a big old deal, but like you know, I don't want to say who it is yet. Okay, I'm sure it is. So we we all gonna be looking for that announcement. Um. One of my other questions, in 2018, you saw a lot of success with your EP, Tina Snow, and then your new album, your your debut album. Uh -uh. No? Uh -uh. I album. thought, it, Fever's not going to be an album? I thought it was going to be an album. No, it's going to be a uh, project. Okay, so I another project. The album is like a real commitment. Like, okay. It sounds like a marriage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just sounds like a big old commitment, and I'm just not there. You're not there yet? Okay. So tell me about Fever. How's that gonna sound different from Tina Snow? So you know, Tina Snow was one of my alter egos. Right. Okay. So now we got Hot Girl Meg. Okay. And this is like, you know, this is the summer. Summer. Yes. I hope y'all single. <laughs> okay. You're making your man mad. Listen to this. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a turn up girl. You know, definitely like uh, a lot of my. A lot of my college party experiences like influence this music. You okay. Know I mean? So like this is just definitely my my more, my more playful side. Okay, so like a summer turn up project. Yeah, okay, so a lot of twerking. Of course, you know. Of course, yeah. of course. Like, of course. You know, just this more turn up. Okay, that's what's up, and I think we all gonna be looking forward to that. Seven days. <laughs> Seven days. Yay. So we have a few fans who want to ask questions. We have our first guest. So if you want to come on up. Uh, with you being an artist, um, I wanted to know what business aspects would 
um, any other female artists like myself would have to learn first, you know, before jumping into the music game? I would say learn how to utilize your social media. Mm -hmm. um, like, basically, you just got to go hard on that every day. Like, learn what time all your fans are online and, right. like, learn what time... Uh, you know, it's best, like, when you're going to get all your views and your likes and everything, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then learn what your audience really likes. Like, you got to market yourself to the people who are watching you. Right. So I have, like, a lot of college girls because, you know, that's who that's who I relate to. That's right. what we're doing the same thing. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to just say it's a lot of college girls because that's, that's all I know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, definitely, like, learn who your audience is and learn when they online because that's who you got to appeal to. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now we have our second fan who has a question. The one who's been turning up for you so far Yay! in the Tina Snow shirt. <laughs> okay, my question was originally about school, but since that was asked, I just want to be different and keep motivating you. You keep doing your thing. We love you. We love what you've been doing. I've been watching you. To be honest, I've been knowing you for about over a year. I got put Cognac Queen was the first I ever heard. Fell in love with that. But I just want you to stay motivated. I know you have a lot going on with your life. And I just want you to stay on top. Stay self-motivated no matter what the haters say. No matter what the, you know, social media coming. Nothing. You stay doing you. You just keep being Meg. You feel me? Real hot girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. They want to know. What's your favorite position? <laughs> Maybe a few. Okay, we gotta get the, we gotta get an answer now because she asked it. Come on, you gotta tell us. The hotties wanna know. Do the hotties really wanna know? The hotties wanna know. <laughs> Um, I would have to say. Don't get shy now. Cover your ears. <laughs> I would have to say, um, doggy. You know. <laughs> I'm a big old fan of my own ass. So yes. Imagine what it looked like from back there. Because <laughs> I'm thin. Yeah. I'm weak. Yeah, that, that's my thing. <laughs> That was a good question. All right. <laughs> All right, a third, uh, a third listener has a question as well. Come on up. Okay, um, my question is what, you might not want to tell us, what is your favorite track and the name of this track on Fever? Don't tell us, don't tell us, okay. Okay, so my favorite is Simon Says. Okay. And, Simon Says. Um, I can tell y'all. It was produced by Juicy J. Mm -hmm. Oh, favorite, favorite, right? We saw that, we saw that. Everybody knows that I, like, love 36 Mafia, like, love UGK. So just to be able to work with Juicy J, like, it was, like, a whole big old thing. Right. Like, yeah. Oh, my God, you the first kid of <laughs> But, yeah, so it was, like, super fun working with him, and you already know it's going to be, like, the twerk anthem of, like, the summer. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Like, that, that's my favorite song on that. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be lit. That's my favorite song on that right now. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Thank y'all for those questions. And that is it for our Jams Live Lounge. You know, with the number one station always hooking y'all up with the live artists. Uh oh, I'm sorry to mean to hit you. Meg Stallion in the building. Number one station, 95.7 Jams.